Good morning, or at least it's morning here. It's about a quarter to seven. I'm getting a really late start compared to what I normally do. <laughs> normally I'm doing this about four thirty, five o'clock, but I actually slept in until like 20 to 6. So it was good. I wish I could sleep into like 8 or 9 sometimes, but my body just won't cooperate. And um, anyway, uh, happy Tuesday. And... I just wanted to update everybody on what's going on. Um, first of all, and I don't even know how to p- put this into words, honestly. Um, I'm just <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> um, for the people that helped me out and donated, thank you so much. I'm just... I am so grateful. <clears throat> My allergies. And for those of you who were, ta- were talking about, well, let me finish this first, then I'll get into that. But those of you who donated, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just pretty much overwhelmed. I'm. You have no idea, no idea how much I appreciate it. I mean, I just, like I say, I can't even really put it into words, you know, other than saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much, all of you. Anyway, uh, well, I'm st- I'm still a little lost for words, people. That doesn't happen very often, but I'm just so grateful to to my subs who helped me out. Uh, part of the reason you got, there were several of you made comments about, <clears throat> it's like right now I've got junk, but a lot of that is allergies. I have really, really bad allergies and especially when the wind blows and it's been, the wind's been blowing and it's been kind of not really stormy, but just windy and kind of dreary and sun did come out a little bit yesterday, but, but, uh, here, when I was living in Montana, <clears throat> I went in for allergy testing, and because I noticed that I had told my ex-wife, I told her, I said, you know, every time the wind blows, I start plugging up. My chest plugs up, my nose plugs up, and as it turns out, they did all this allergy testing on me, and they, and they said that the only thing that I was allergic to that they could find were the molds in the ground. And the doctor said that is why every time the wind blows, you start plugging up. Because you've got all these molds that are in the ground, in the dirt. And, of course, in the area we lived in, just like here, it's like dirt and sagebrush and <laughs> desert, you know, for the most part. So if it's cold desert, it's not hot desert. But it doesn't get as cold normally at night. Uh, is in the real desert. Like I remember, I was down in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and and it was 101 degrees during the day, and that night it was just freezing cold. You know, so it doesn't do that here in the summer. It's still fairly warm. You know, pretty warm at night. But anyway, that's part of the problem. Uh, the other part of the problem is I do have, and this and, and this was the main cause of my having to have bypass surgery and stuff because it had done something. But I do have uh, congestive heart failure, which I have to take medication for. And when I first went to the ER for my heart problems the first time, that was basically what was causing it. And I went to one hospital, and that was when I had I had basically an angioplasty and and a stent put in. But I still had problems, and as it turned out, it was just because I was filling up with fluid, <clears throat> and I had filled up with fluid so much that I couldn't even, couldn't even breathe hardly. And I remember the, the 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 woman that I was dating at the time 
that morning. See, I thought it was a stomach problem because I just I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't drink anything without throwing up. And so I thought it was a stomach issue. And that's what I told them when I went to the ER. And um, anyway, that morning I was on the phone with her. I was getting ready to go to work. And she says, you are not going to work today. She says, you, I mean, I couldn't even hardly breathe. I couldn't, I mean, I was like, I was like just inches away from dying, seriously. And uh, so she said, you're not going to work today. You need to go to the doctor. She was a nurse, by the way. And she said, you're not going to work promise me you're not going to work that you're going to the doctor's like okay and i felt so bad at that point it's like yeah i've got to i've got to go to the doc so they had what they call a care now uh this is this is down in texas those of you who are down in that area might be some some places they call them urgent care or whatever it, whatever it is that they call them but they <coughs> they are an urgent care facility and so I went there and was into this one doctor that um, she'd actually seen me a couple of times before. But anyway, she goes, well, I'm going to go ahead and run an EKG on you. So, okay. Which I'd had EKGs run psh, uh, numerous times. And so it wasn't a big deal to me. Except when they pulled the, not, the diodes off and my hair come ripping. Because I've got a very ha hairy chest. You know, no TMI. Um, but, yeah, when they ripped those things off, it's like, ouchie. <laughs> she, do you want me to shave you before I put them on? I was like, nah. Well, they did have to shave a couple areas, you know. But anyway. So anyway, she, she did the EKG on me. And she kind of, and she, after she got the data, she come in and she had like this freaked out look on her face. And so I knew, you know, when she, when I saw the, how she was coming in looking, it was like, uh oh, and she was showing me the the tape or whatever the readout, and she goes, "This is not a stomach issue," because the EKG was extremely abnormal. I guess that's I don't know how to read them, but but she was showing it to me and explaining it to me kind of and i i was like yeah shaking my you know nodding yes and but i had no idea what she's talking about but um she goes this is not a stomach issue so they they took me in, in another room and laid me down gave me some aspirin and she said you need to go to the hospital now and she said i i'd feel even though the hospital was only a couple blocks away from this care now, she said, I really don't want you going there on your own. I want you to go by EMS because that way you would get in immediately. You wouldn't have to sit in the waiting room and, you know, so 180 bucks later to go two blocks. But anyway, the, you know, the ambulance showed up and they gave me some nitro and took me over there. Um... I don't even remember what my point was in telling that story now. But anyway, that's that's what it turned out is that I had congestive heart failure. And there was uh, started working with this cardiologist who was there. And anyway, long story short, well, it's not, it hasn't been too short, has it? Um, they <clears throat> diagnosed me with congestive heart failure. What's interesting is that I had gotten to the point where it was so bad, I couldn't say two or three words without having a coughing fit. I'm Seriously. I mean, I it was embarrassing. <clears throat> Man, I've got junk this morning. I'm sorry, people. I know a lot of you are concerned, too, but this is allergies. I mean, <laughs> trust me. Because um, I can pretty much tell the difference. I've had enough experience with it. But because, uh, you know, two, hour, two hours later, I'll be fine. So <clears throat> but this morning, of course, it has to be acting up and I've got all kinds of junk in my throat and chest and stuff when I'm trying to talk. My body is like a walking Nur Murphy's Law, I swear. And uh, where was I now? I don't even remember. 
but anyway, that, that they, they diagnosed me with congestive heart failure, and so that's, and I do have to take, oh, oh I know what I was going to say. Um, here I was uh, the, it, it, in the hospital in Dallas, you know, I was in and out of facilities for, shoot, you know, probably f- five years, because it was like it was in 2014 that I had the the angioplasty and the stent put in. <clears throat> and of course, it was 2019 when I had my bypass surgery. And <clears throat> man, I'm sorry, people. I I probably maybe should have waited because I'm just like, and I know it's probably aggravating for you. It's probably making you guys cough listening to me talk. But anyway, so that's that. That's what part of it is. Plus, the other night I was laying down in bed, and of course, you know, when you're laying in bed, your lungs are compressed, and so. You know, a lot of you said I was gasping for air or whatever, and that's partly the reason why is because I was laying down uh, recording on my phone, whereas yesterday, uh, sitting here at my desk, I'm not in bed. Now I'm in here in my office, TV room, whatever you want to call it, where my computer is, my desk and everything. So I was laying down and, you know... But I do. But the interesting thing is, is I started to say and then distracted myself again. Here's all these hospitals I I was in in Dallas, including Baylor, which Baylor is one of the premier. And it was at the Baylor Cardiology Hospital, <clears throat> where they took me to, which that's where they should have taken me the first time, you know, back in 2014, actually. But. I got to the point where I couldn't even talk. I mean, I'd like say, oh, you know, <coughs> I just start coughing. And even when I got home here, I was trying to talk to people on the phone. And because I had some, you know, things to take care of with insurance and 401k and stuff like that. And, you know, I was kept apologizing and they all felt so sorry for me. You know, and I remember the first time I went to the doctor here, um, because I didn't have any income at that time when I come back here. And so my mom found out that they actually, at the clinic down here, Valley Family, which has been just the most wonderful place. And it's kind of the place that where, you know, the poor people go to. <laughs> well, I qualify. But, um, but I, honestly, it's the best care I've ever had. And here in this small town, <clears throat> I go down there. And this doctor, who is actually my doctor, is, um, I don't remember what his title is, but he's hes like right under a doctor, like a physician uh, something. I don't, I can't even think right now. But he's not even a full-blown doctor, but he's been my doctor. He is really, really good. He's really good. And he listens to me. Uh, a lot of doctors don't, and I think that's a big mistake because, especially when you get to be, you know, my age, a lot of you, a lot of you are in my age group. We know our bodies pretty well, and we know what they normally do, and we know when something's off kilter. And so, I think it's really important that a doctor listens to us because you got some of these that are just know it alls. You know, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they think, well, they're not a doctor. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, yeah, I, actually we do. A lot of times. Because um, even here, you know, he was trying to tell me that what it was, the problem was. And I said, no, no, because I knew my body, right? I knew how it reacted. And um, so... Anyway, but I guess my point is, I, I'm rambling this morning, folks. Sorry. <laughs> um, the point is, is that he adjusted my medication. He doubled my, I take Lasix, which is a very powerful diuretic. He adjusted that. And within three days, my cough was gone. Here all this time... In Dallas, and it wasn't this as bad, you know, you know, where I was like coughing, you know, after, you know, I couldn't even complete a sentence. That was pretty much like the last, oh, I don't know, 
six to nine months that I was there. It wasn't, you know, the whole five-year period. But it had gotten worse. And um, and even with the bypass surgery, you know, I was still, you know, cough, 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 cough. And I was still like that when I got here. But he adjusted my medication. And now, you know, I can speak. But there was so much fluid from the congestive heart failure that I couldn't even I couldn't even hardly talk. I mean, it was just everybody felt sorry for me because it's like and it was so embarrassing and frustrating for me because, you know, I'd start start to talk and then they'd have to wait for me to get done talking and to say a few more words and then start coughing again. Let me tell you, people, that was not a good experience at all. But here are all these specialists, you know, people that, you know, there's a few that, like the, pot, the doctor that did my uh, bypass surgery, practices all over the world. He's like one of the premier thoracic surgeons in the world. <clears throat> of course, I never even met him. I never even got to meet him. I didn't. <laughs> I met him while I was asleep under sedation. Under So... But anyway, I come back here, and the doctor adjusts my medication, and boom. <laughs> you know, so, but that's what's keeping me alive. I take that Lasix, and I, and I take the Lasix and spironolactone. And the Lasix basically is, is what's keeping me alive. Because, because when I wasn't taking it, I had gotten so much fluid that I just couldn't hardly function. So, I don't know that I needed to go into all that, but, you know, I start talking. I like to talk, as you know. I start talking, and, uh, yeah. (laughs) So, but anyway, the main purpose or main focus of what I want to talk about is, number one, again, you people that donated, thank you so, so much. Oh, I just, you know, really, really appreciate it. Now, I talked about the, yesterday I talked about the computer that I was planning on getting. And you know how on Amazon when you you have a product and then below it brings up similar products? Well, there was one in that list down there that I looked at, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And it was brand new, not refurbished. So what I ended up, (laughs) and thanks to you people, I was actually able to buy it. And it's supposed to be here a week from today. And I hope it doesn't take a week. <laughs> you know what's interesting is I, I've got a, the, the, the page up where the um, computer is on. And it says here, order today and get it by April 3rd. Well, I ordered it yesterday. It says free prime delivery, Monday, April 3rd. Uh... Order within 17 hours. Okay, well, why is mine going to be here on the 4th? Which makes me think that maybe you might get here early. But that doesn't make any sense. Order, order it a day later and you get it on the 3rd. Or, ordered mine yesterday and it says I get it on the 4th. What the heck? <clears throat> so like I said, hopefully I'll get it early. Which, the earlier the better. <laughs> earlier the better anyway now the one i was looking at was refurbished one and it was a i think it was a 15.6 if i remember right um 16 gig with a one terabyte hard drive now this one it's a 16 inch 16 gig has a 512 gigabyte Hard, or hard drive, which is half the size of the other one, but this one has like super hyped up graphics. It's got Windows 11, 
It's got four stereo speakers, a built-in cooling fan, which is pretty darn cool. And it's got a battery that they say will last all day. Now, I've read some reviews that they said, well, it's supposed to be an all-day battery. Of course, a lot of that depends on how much you're running and, and how intense the programs you're running and all that that, get, that dr- will drain your battery. If you're just you know surfing the web, yeah, it probably lasts for eight hours. But this guy in this one review says, well, this thing only lasted me six hours. <laughs> it's like... What the heck? You know how long mine lasts that I have now? If I get two hours out of it, I feel lucky. I go to the coffee shop, you know, a lot of times because they've got, you know, fast Wi-Fi, and I don't, my hotspot isn't that fast. So if I want to download, like, big files or whatever, I go down to the coffee shop because their internet's really fast, and I can do it there. But the only problem is, is mine, you know, will, will last like a, hour and a half, two hours at the most. And so, you know, I have to come home and recharge it and go back the next day or later, you know, whatever. It's a pain in the butt. Well, he says, oh, they don't, mine only lasted six hours. Holy crap! If I could get six hours out of mine, I'd be ecstatic. So, you know, and seriously, I'm not going to be down at the coffee shop for you know, using their internet for six hours. You know, and when I'm home, I can pl- you know keep it plugged in or whatever. But it's um, it's a 16 inch screen. Um, it's got an in- Intel processor, Windows 11, four stereo speakers, built in cooling fan, and a 38,000 mWh battery. Nice looking, very nice looking computer. The graphics are supposed to be excellent, which for working with my Amazon products and stuff. Um, let's see here what else it says. Yes, yeah, stunning. St- wide, it's got a widescreen. It's real flat. You know, it's like a big widescreen TV. Uh, stunning visuals come to life with the 16-inch 1920 times 1200 FHD IPS display. The lap, this laptop boasts amazing screen real estate with a staggering 93% screen-to-body ratio, whatever the hell that means, which can display more content, provide a comfortable visual experience. But the thing is, I'm not even going to be using the screen because, well, I will if I'm at, you know, somewhere else besides here. But when I'm here, <clears throat> I'll have it hooked up to my television. Um, also, too, now... It's only got 512 as, as opposed to one terabyte. <clears throat> but it's also, you can plug a card into it. It's got a slot where you can plug a card. And you can actually, you, you can buy these cards that says it supports 256 gig TF card expansion. And it's also got where you can expand the memory. So I could buy a card, even though it's got 16 gigabytes, which should be plenty, if I want to run something very, very intensive. Um, I can plug in, you know, I, I guess you can buy the, the cards that have the built-in extra 256 gigabyte space, and also, I don't know how much memory, you know, but you can expand it. So, I'm like, and like I said, this sucker's brand new. It's not even, it's not even refurbished. Um, and it's got, it says burst frequency 2.9 gigahertz quad core processor with four threads, which that's, any anytime you get above like 2.4, that's fast. You know, uh, says here says Intel UHD graphics CPU performance increased by thirty five percent, GPU performance increased by seventy eight percent compared to other whatever. Um, so let's see. Yeah, and I can hook it up to Type C. You know, which is what <clears throat> what your all of your you know, cell phones are now your Type C plug, uh, or you, you can have micro HDMI, 
uh, it's got a three to have three point five millimeter headphone jack. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> It's got two USB ports, which I was really wanting to get three. The one, the one I have now has has three. Um, but most of the time, I'm only using two of them. So two, and you can also plug. I used to have like a my, uh, when I was in Texas, I had one of those USB hubs where I could plug plug it in, which it had like I can't remember if it had three or four slots where I could plug extra things in. You know, into the into the hub port, which you can get those for. Psh, you know they're not expensive at all so i mean for me this looks like yeah i mean 16 gig and 512 gig hard drive the hard drive space i mean i mean need to expand but i don't know how much those tf cards i haven't even looked at that but that's something down the road and i'm probably not going to load as load as much stuff on my since i'm going to be using it mostly for you know video and stuff like that um because I've got, like on my computer now, I've got so much stuff installed on there, it's just, psh, you know, a lot of it. I've, I've uninstalled a lot of it. And so I'm going to be a, a lot more selective because that Amazon, or Amazon, Adobe uh, software takes up a lot of space. Although I've got it all installed on this one, and I've still got, you know, I just don't have a lot left. I've got like 30 gigs left on my hard drive. So I, that's why a lot of reason I've been uninstalling stuff that I don't really use. Um, deleting a lot of, I've got a lot of videos and stuff like that, like past videos that I did. Because they take up some space. So I've been deleting them to give me a little bit more space on my hard drive. So I'll, so starting from scratch <clears throat> on a new computer, I'll just be more selective you know, of what I put on there. But anyway, I should have it a week from today, and hopefully, since this one says Monday, April 3rd, um, even though mine says arriving on the 4th, of course, of course, you know, a lot of times I've had it says arriving Friday, and I'll get it on Monday or Tuesday, you know, so... I mean, if I if I could even get it by the end of the week, which I don't I don't expect that. Um, depending on how they ship it, hopefully. Oh, please don't ship at UPS. Please do not ship at UPS. I'm sure they probably will. I, I should have put a note on there: do not ship UPS. Ship U.S. Post Office. Because I never have a problem getting stuff from the post office, but I always have problems with FedEx and UPS. It's funny that the post office can get my stuff here two or three days earlier than UPS can. You know, so I should have put a note on there saying, I guess I still could add a note to it saying, do not ship UPS, I'm going to kick your butt. So anyway, I should get it at least by the latest a week from today. And, man, I'm just... <laughs> I'm so jacked right now. I am so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just get at it. I get, I get, I get, I get, I get my laptop, laptop. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I, I just thought I would update y'all and tell you I'm excited. And I'm going to, I'm going to make some really cool videos. You guys will enjoy them. You know, I'm still, I'm, I'm going to have to learn the software because I haven't been able to run it on this one. But there are a lot of tutorials. There's like a ton of tutorials. I've got actually downloaded some manuals, you know, for when I do get it, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to update you, tell you how grateful I am and how excited I am and and, oh, yeah, and I, I got this computer. Okay, the other one that I was looking at was uh, 359 for the refurbished. This one I got for just $20 more for 379 379.99, so 380 But for $20 more, 
get a, a brand new one, even though it doesn't have a terabyte hard drive, I can still expand it with one of those cards, and I can still expand the memory with one of those cards. So, man, I tell you what, this thing, I, it's what I need. You know, I've just been so frustrated and depressed at times because just dealing with this $172 computer. But I think for $379, $380, this is nice. Um, the other one also had Windows 10. This one has Windows 11, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Because um, I haven't dealt with Windows 11 yet. But I dealt with all the other upgrades. I went from Windows 95 to Windows 98 to trying to think what they did. Windows uh, XP. Uh, and that's my favorite out of all of them. Windows X, and they've got a deal on there where it says where you can actually load Windows XP on your computer and when run Windows XP, the current version. But the thing is, there's a lot of functionality that you lose, and there's programs that you can't run. So that wouldn't really do me any good. But I loved XP. But I've gone through the whole gamut, you know, of the different ones. Went for Windows 8, and upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 10 was psh, that was no that was no big deal you know that was ain't hardly any difference other than in windows 10 you can't disable windows update that <laughs> because nothing aggravates me more than to turn on my computer where i've got to get something done and all of a sudden it's doing that update crap and you got to wait an hour for it to, to get done with what it's doing before you I, i'm like cussing bill gates like you wouldn't believe <laughs> it just aggravates the hell out of me. It's like, at least ask me, do you want to install the updates? You know? And I've even gone in, they said, you can tweak it so it doesn't do it. I've tried all that, and it still does it. You know, which I think is BS. I really do. You know, Microsoft acts like it's their freaking computer. It's not your damn computer. It's my computer. I don't want to have your operating system, but I bought it. It's mine to do whatever I want with it. But they seem to think that that's not the case, and that just irritates me. So I don't know what surprises await me in Windows 11, but I guess a week from now I'll find out. So hopefully it's not going to be a whole lot different from Windows 10. Um, I don't know, those of you, if any of you have used Windows 11 or bought a computer with Windows 11 or upgraded to it, whatever, you know, you know, leave me a comment or whatever and tell me what you think uh, as compared to Windows 10 because, you know, I, I really don't know. Um, I know. I know I've seen some reviews where people say they don't like it, that they like Windows 10 a lot better. Um, so I don't really know what the difference is going to be, but I guess we'll find out. So anyway, I need to shut up and get this uploaded so y'all can listen to it this morning so again people thank you for those who donated i you, you have no idea how much it means because you know there's nothing more frustrating than to have all this capability of things that i can do with all the, with software um adobe photoshop adobe illustrator where i can actually draw because i'm a you know pretty much an artist i've got a drawing pad and all that that i bought a couple of years ago that i really haven't used much um just simply because i don't really have a lot of programs that i can utilize it so anyway it's going to be really really super super nice to be able to do what i want to do and ho hopefully make some money at it. So supplement my income or even surpass it, you know. <clears throat> you never know. I might get good enough at all this to where start my own business. And, you know, I, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best. Cause, and the thing is, it's not like work to me. Except when the only thing that seems like work is dealing when my computer freezes up and all that stuff. And I'm trying to get something done. And it just... 
it won't do it, and then the screen turns white, and then I have to power it down and turn it back on. It, it is so frustrating. So to be able to work with a computer that actually works and can run the software, to me, that's not work. It's fun. It is work, but it's fun. You know, I, I enjoy it. And so they, they always say if you, if you really, really enjoy what you do, it's not work. And that's kind of the way that I am, you know, with making videos and doing stuff because that's – I like being creative, you know, I like, I think I've got good writing skills. Um, you know, I, I, I think I'm pretty good at making things funny most of the time. Um, quit saying, um, Kevin. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> don't say, uh, either. God, I'm trying not to do it. But I'm just, I'm trying to think what my next, what I was going to say next but anyway, thank you, people, and look forward to me coming out with some pretty good s stuff here in the not-too-distant future. All right, you guys have a great day. <laughs> you, guys have, you guys have a great day. <laughs> Holy crap. Take some talking lessons, boy. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.